Hello everyone. So this is what we're going to do today. So let's take a look. My logos again. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so um, this is the, uh, my, uh, the logo design variations and then uh, this is the one I'm currently using. So um, this is an illustrator file as a vector and let me make a copy and I'm going to add something really simple. So first the thing is let me draw uh, a one circle. So I'm holding down option, click and shift so I can draw a perfect circle in the center and then let me make a copy of this by double clicking this scale button, a scale tool from toolbox and 75% and copy so I have two and then let me open Pathfinder if you do not see this it is under Windows menu and Pathfinder and let me choose this um, exclude so I have a ring shape okay and it looks okay but I want to give some kind of a perspective using my uh, free transform tool if you do not see this free transform tool you can always go to these three dots the edit toolbar button on the very bottom of your toolbox and you can find uh, your free transform tool I I'm already open here okay so once you choose it there are several options I'm going to choose this the last one free distort and then let me move this anchor point point by point okay so I can give some kind of a like orbit looking a little three-dimensional looking okay so this is what I got <clears throat> excuse me so once you're done I'm going to save it as SVG file, logo SVG. So SVG stands for uh, Scalable Vector Graphics. And then uh, the good thing about this file format is uh, you can uh, use this for uh, uh, your anime CC and then uh, without losing any quality. So um, let me go to anime CC, making a new file. So now I open the other uh, new anime CC document. So size will be, excuse me, 600 pixel by 600 pixel and 24 frame rate and HTML5 canvas. Uh, I keep this size because I want to uh, upload it onto my Instagram. So create it. Okay, and then let me import that uh, logo.svg file to my stage which is this and then there are several options please choose the first one import all path into the same layer and frame okay then I want to center it uh, I can center it manually or uh, this is going to be an easier way choose the open the align panel if you do not see it it is under Windows menu and align and then check align to stage button and choose align horizontal center and vertical center so it is perfectly centered but my JYK is not centered perfectly so I'm going to uh, move it manually just like this okay now I want as I showed you I want to animate it uh, one by one piece by piece uh, but they are grouped now so select everything go to modify menu and break apart one more time so it's all different now let me change some color let me select the J and K um, using my fav uh, the dark kind of a gray and my triangle I'm gonna use my favorite orange also this ring I want to have uh, my favorite orange again okay so I'm ready to go. So first, this J, Y, and K, 
I want to assign the uh, separate layers uh, for each letter so I can have a different animation. So select all these three letters or three elements and then go to Modify, Timeline, and Distribute to Layers. So uh, on your timeline, you can see that uh, these are all separated into an individual layer. So this bottom layer, that's a K layer, so let me rename it as a K. And this one is my J. <clears throat> and this one is my Y. And the top one is my ring. I want to change the order. Let me move my J layer to the bottom. Okay. So, let's animate it. So, first thing is, we have a departure. We need to have a destination for each one. So, select the bottom first keyframe or top one, doesn't matter. Hold down the shift key and select the last one. So, I can select all first keyframes. Then, go to insert menu and create classic twin. Okay. Now, click on your insert keyframe button. So we have departure and the destination. Okay. Now, let me start from uh, the very first one, J. What I want to do is, I want to have some kind of a, a fading in and rotating and getting smaller, that type of effect. But that's something we did before. So um, select your letter J and open, click on your letter J on your stage and open transform panel. This transform panel is under Windows menu as well, transform. I'm going to make it bigger, 500%. Also, I want to rotate it 90 degree angle. Okay. And also, I want to change the alpha value down to zero. So it is fading in and rotating. Like this. Okay. I will do the same thing for the letter K. So let me lock my bottom layer J so I can secure it. So my letter K, click on your letter K on your stage, open transform. I will enter the same value, 500% bigger and 90 degree angle rotation and alpha value down to zero. So it is fading in. Okay. Lock this layer. Now why this little triangle? Click on your little triangle on your stage. Open transform. This time I'm going to make it even larger. Thousand percent. I'm not gonna rotate it. Let me just change the alpha value. See? Okay, and let me lock this layer. And the last, that ring. Highlight your ring. Open transform. Make it 500%. Wow, it's huge. Maybe it's too big. 300%. Okay. And then, uh, this time, I'm going to rotate the opposite direction. So minus negative 90 degree. Then, let me change the alpha value down to zero. So this happens. So let me hit the return key, see how it works. So it's not too bad, but uh, I want to give some kind of a little more fun. So everything's coming in, presenting the, at the same time for now, but I want to give some kind of a little bit different timeline. So J comes first, K next, little triangle last, next, and then the ring comes last. So that's the plan. So let me unlock uh, all the layers. Uh, but before we do that, uh, everything's happening at the kind of the same speed, which is okay. But let me try this. I'm highlighting the first keyframe, and let me hold down the Shift key, 
and click on the last uh, first keyframe so I can select all four keyframes and then in your properties panel you're gonna see that classic is the ease options let me change this value to the minus 100 and see what it, well, what happens see it's getting faster like a boom boom okay so now J is the first one so I'm gonna just leave it as it is K that's the next letter I want to once you select the letter K's uh, layer this entire segment is selected let me move it maybe up to frame number 35 so what's gonna happen is J is coming in fading in and K comes after it's like a dominoes game so let me do the same thing for the Y select the Y layer hold uh, grab your entire segment and move it up to 45 and the ring layer up to 55 so it's like a dominoes game J K Y and the ring but at the end we only have a ring for now because as you can see that all these frames are empty so highlight the frame number 55 the last frame so we can keep the same timeline on your second layer hold down the shift and click on the bottom layers last frame then insert a keyframe so now see what happens okay okay so it's not too bad but after this I want to give some little more fun so what I'm gonna do is on your very last frame so your playhead is at the end 55 and select everything like this okay and copy command C or you can go to edit menu and copy now add a new layer on top then highlight the very last frame 55 then insert timeline blank keyframe okay then paste in place we uh, copy the entire thing so paste in place see so it's here okay then I'm going to animate this entire thing as one so go to insert menu let me create a classic twin then uh, let me highlight three second mark and insert a keyframe and on that keyframe I'm going to make it slightly bigger let me hold down the shift key and just drag it so once it is set to the position it's getting bigger slowly and then I'm going to make it really small really quickly so um, I'm adding maybe after maybe three frames after insert a keyframe and then using this free transform tool make it smaller like that size so what's happening is it is kind of set to the position and getting bigger very slowly and getting smaller like this let me insert that uh, ease option as well on this first keyframe of this new logo so um, minus 100 and this one maybe 100 so watch this see and after that I want to shake it a little bit maybe twice so maybe after two two or three frames insert a keyframe let me use my free transform tool I'm going to shake it rotate it just a little bit like that another keyframe opposite direction like this and uh, after another two frames I'm going to make it right 
So this will happen. Fading in, rotating. See? You may hear some sound. Ding! <laughs> like this. Okay, so let me test the movie uh, so we can see how it works on my web browser. See? But uh, by default, it just keeps kind of uh, repeating. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me add maybe a few seconds after this. Uh, maybe almost two seconds. So let me highlight the six second mark. Okay. Insert the keyframe. So let me test the movie. Shake. And two seconds. And play again. Okay, so that's it. So this is going to be kind of a part of my personal branding uh, series. So this is the first one. So thanks for watching. And then uh, we're going to do some more fun stuff next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Shoo, shoo, shoo.